guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand. And oddly enough, I have two videos that I'm working on. And of course, we get breaking news. Now, it's definitely worth it to cover it as it is breaking because we already got a new pick for the vice president general manager of DC Comics. And I actually think it's a good one. I wasn't too impressed with what Daniel Cherry did. And unfortunately, I'm not sure how much he did. But do me a favor. If you are new to the channel and enjoy this type of content, hit subscribe. I post content every single day. Hit like, subscribe. Yeah, endless shilling done. Let's talk about this new situation developing. Now, if you remember last week, we got the announcement that Daniel Cherry III was leaving DC Comics. And he did for Kanye West. Because reasons. I don't have a good one. But, I mean, why wouldn't you want to work for Kanye West? I, okay, we're moving on. With this announcement, I was fine with it. I think most people were like, oh, so that happened. What are you doing now? Like, nobody really was impressed at what he did. I think he did get some networking done, of course. And, of course, we don't know everything that he did. But from this side, as a consumer, it was like, oh, you you got Batman Fortnite. That's awesome. And it was a really good book. Bring on Chris, what is it, Christos Gajos, Christopher Gajos. Bring him on. Let him write some some Superman books or something. He did a great job. Why would you not bring him back? So that was pretty much it. Say la vie, right? Now we already have a new announcement of the woman that will be taking over for him. And because this is so quick, I honestly, this had to be in the works, right? He had to have given some sort of notice and not just quit. And they had to have known who would be next, right? Who would be coming next and who would be taking over his position. And it's actually really hopeful. So I will put this link from Adventures in Poor Taste down below so you can check it out for yourself. But let's take a look at this press release. We have Anne Luang DePais, named DC General Manager. Now, she will be taking the role of Senior Vice President. She will partner with Creative Chief Officer and Publisher Jim Lee on creative, talent, and editorial decisions going forward. DePais replaces, obviously, Daniel Cherry III, and um, uh, I believe we'll be under Marie Javins or report to Marie Javins. Now, this is what we got from Pam Lifford. She said, Anne's deep knowledge and appreciation of DC business, legacy, and people will be invaluable in this new leadership role. She understands our fans. Da, da, da. I love it. Characters and stories. And along with Jim... And we'll passionately build our DC publishing business to even greater heights. Now, th there, there's actually way more goodness coming forward because she has been since with DC since 2011. That's awesome. She was um, most recently senior vice president, global brands and franchise. Prior to DC, she worked for Warner Brothers, like theatrical television and video games unit. This woman knows the universe. She knows the characters. She knows what the characters mean to fans and the customers that buy the books. This is really, really good. And of course, I was trying to be all professional, but my phone beeps. Sorry. And um, it perch gets to the video before me. One day I'm going to beat him. I swear. One day. Anyways, it is incredibly humbling to step into this role at a place I've been for a while now. I feel like I partially grew up at DC. That's kind of awesome. I would love that. Uh, I feel like um, growing up, it was such a big part of my life. I totally understand it. Um, and I've seen how important we are to the fans. To get a chance to lead our company to do even more for them is a dream come true. And this is Miss Anne, right here. I've worked with Anne. This is Jim Lee talking. I've worked with Anne for over a decade. And what impresses me is she gets the importance of the story. Do you notice the language they're using here, right? They're 
really extenuating the fact that she knows the characters, she knows the legacy, the universe, the story, the fans. They're centering around what they should be. And I really, really like that. She understands it is our foundation, and she has um, she has literally woven it into our business plan, which speaks volumes as to the future she envisions for DC. I am super excited for this partnership and what comes next. Now, and here's the official press release. I'm not going to go through that. Basically, it gives her credentials and everything kind of I just you know, did and what I went through. She um. She has her MBA. She went to UCLA, all that fun stuff, right? So this gives me hope because you remember what happened when Daniel Cherry was announced? It was all about his LinkedIn and his Twitter and everything else. And this is like a real announcement. This is something that we can look forward to, hopefully. And honestly, from the rumblings I've heard, um, a lot of people are excited about this. A lot of people are looking forward to this and think this is a better match. Now, of course, that could be fabricated to a point where they're like, yay, we just won a job. But I don't get that kind of opinion there, right? I don't, I, I don't get that from what I've heard. So I am excited for this. I think this is a good start. I know she does want to focus on digital. She does want to increase that, and I think there is a way to do that. I do believe we will probably see more Webtoons, and that's good. It's almost at a million subscribers. Webtoons, Wayne Family Adventures, which is a phenomenal story. I think it's something like 800,000. Um, it, it's, it's up there. It's really doing well. And if you're focusing on the digital initiative, stuff like Harley Quinn Eat Bang Kill, which was free, on DC Universe, free content for them still was selling double the original Harley book. Those things moving forward are what you need to focus on. And, and I'm going to say it one more time in case anybody ever listens. Bring back bombshells. <laughs> I know I, I know I say it too much. And, you know, we love those women. We love the way that they act. Bring Use that for part of your digital initiative. Oh, 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 and one more thing. Justice for Yara Floor. I'm just saying it. I'm just putting it out there. Anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think about this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.